What's up guys? DCA coming back at you today. So today we're gonna dive into some classic cocktails. So this one's gonna originate all the way back to the 1920s from a man named Erkson Gwynn. I know that's kind of a strange name, but you gotta roll with me on this one. But he named it a man about town, but you might traditionally know it today as the Boulevardier. So kind of like the Negroni, which we've all heard of a Negroni, it's gonna be composed of your Campari and your sweet vermouth, but instead of gin, you're gonna do a rye this time. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with my lesser ingredients, the vermouth. I use a martini rosso. You can use whatever you'd like. It's all equal parts, so one ounce down the board. One full ounce. Make sure you get your meniscus, which is the bubble point. It's gonna go a little bit over. Yeah. Don't spill. Campari, <laughs> one ounce again. Super easy. All right, Campari. The vermouth and the Campari bounce each other out. Just as you know, your, your vermouth is going to be a little bit sweeter, your Campari is going to be a little bit bitter, and you have your spirit, which is going to kind of marriage all that together. Yeah. One ounce as well, down the board. Now we're going to add ice all the way to the top. You want to get all the way to the top because you want to make sure that cocktail dilutes perfectly. All right, and then you're going to want to stir it for about a good 15 to 20 seconds. You want to make sure that cocktail is nicely diluted and it's looking at a nice pinkish reddish color. That's the hue you want to have on that. All right. Going a little bit more. I just need to grab my glassware real quick. Okay. All right. Grab my rocks glass, because I like to do my boulevardiers on a big cube. I have that right here. And grab a strainer. Whichever one, you can use a hot bar or you can use any one. Let's get this. You don't really need a fine strain, there's not too many ice chunks in this box though. It's already going over ice, so no one can worry on that one. Alright. It should be this nice color, but we're gonna add our garnish, which is gonna be an orange peel. Be careful with this, these are sharp. Peel just kinda like that big. You can do it just like that, you can twist it in, or you can be like me, I like to be a little fancy and I like to Accent it with a little bit of flame. A little bit of flame, just like that. Just like that. And you want to get it around the rim so you get the oils nicely around. All that flavor is soon so when you sip it, you can actually taste all that. Do a squeeze. You can actually see all that citrus falling into the glass when you do that. Make it nice and fancy. Wrap it in. Yeah, we'll go